I wish that CNN and the other mainstream media would just for once tell the truth about what's going on in this country. Shut up! Don't hold your breath, Michael. Shut up. Not when you're dealing with lap dogs of the corporate press. Shut up, public. Yes, far right records. The people who brought you folk songs of the far right wing and love gods of the far right wing present lap dogs of the corporate press. The definitive salute to those brainwashing, ball dropping, butt kissing bootlickers who pandered to a president that sold us all down the river. You'll watch in amazement as they ignore incompetence and disregard deceit. Found the weapons of mass destruction. You'll question your own sanity as they rubber stamp the ridiculous. They hate our freedoms. And applaud the absurd. He looks like he's a wise man now and a man of restraint. You can forget the First Amendment in a watchdog press. The world hasn't seen this many sellouts since the Nazis took Paris. Here's the fictional issue. We talked about this war on Christmas quite a bit. The flagrant falsehood. American troops are not in the middle of the Civil War. The fraudulent debates. Are the Democrats declaring war on America? And the fabricated threats. Al-Qaeda is in Baghdad. Al-Qaeda in Iraq. The Dom's WMDs. Threat from Al-Qaeda. Terrorists after terrorists are a real and dangerous threat to this country. Saddam had nukes. Poison gas. Torture chambers. Mass graves. <laughs> The deep, deep Disneyland of pundits without ethics. I did not give up the names of my sources. Catering to politicos without conscience. Not relate to oil. We don't want the smoking gun to be a mushroom cloud. I really do believe we will be created as liberators. Here's all the lapdog shows. A military strike against Iran would be extraordinarily popular. All the lapdog shows. Am I slanted and biased? You damn well bet I am. Regularly confusing Barack Obama with Osama bin Laden. Instead of saying, where's Osama, it said, where's Obama? You want to apologize for that? While engaging in the non-stop glorification of every right-wing wacko from Ashcroft to Zell. Get out of my face! Yeah! Yes, if you've got a thirst for that far-right Kool-Aid, this collection is the fountain of youth. But we didn't stop there. Here comes... Jaw droppers of the far right wing. The most outrageously audacious assertions ever uttered in public. Those uncommonly revealing flashes of right wing insight that prove once and for all the real meaning of fair and balanced. You'll get Bill Bennett. You could abort every black baby in this country and your crime rate would go down. And Coulter. If I'm going to say anything about John Edwards in the future, I'll just wish he had been killed in a terrorist assassination plot. Glenn Beck. Cindy Sheehan. That's a pretty big prostitute there. Bill O'Reilly. No, I'm not right wing. You'll get Michelle Malkin on John Kerry. Are you accusing him of shooting himself on purpose? Yes, no, it, tell it, me it's self-inflicted wound. Dick Morris on the Patriot Act. Most Americans support the wiretapping. Geraldo Rivera on Working for Fox. One of the wonderful things about our network is that we are fair and balanced. And Rush Limbaugh on Michael J. Fox. He is moving all around and shaking and it's purely an act. Yes, it's an avalanche of right-wing propaganda masquerading as public affairs. And you'll get it all from the pre-scripted press conferences. How is your faith guiding you? My faith uh, sustains me. To the multiple Dick Cheney appearances on Meet the Press asserting a connection between Iraq and 9-11 while Tim Russert just sat there like an acid casualty. <laughs> Lap dogs of the corporate press, abdicating their journalistic integrity and conformophonic stereo. Conformophonic stereo. Well, don't just sit there like the White House press corps. Cut his mic. Order today. Everybody, yeah. let's get into it. Come on. Get it started. Yeah. Get it started. Let's get it started. The potential for the disastrous rise of misplaced power exists and will persist. Cassius was right. The fault, dear Brutus, is not in our stars but in ourselves. We have been too often disappointed by the optimism of the American leaders who have faith any longer in the silver linings they find in the darkest clouds. Nothing's riding on this except the uh, First Amendment, the Constitution, freedom of the press, and maybe the future of the country. Good night and good luck.